Hi guys, this is Jeremy here. So today we have another LEGO City set. This is the Ocean Explorer Submarine set. It's actually in the supporting of the National Geographic Explorer. I actually got this set because I actually uh, like the submarine and it looks very interesting to me. And uh, this is actually my very first LEGO City set. really like the way the submarine looks. You know, the minifix looks very interesting. That's why I actually got it. And it's actually very nice. Not a lot of pieces, but uh, the whole thing actually looks very nice. And there are quite a number of play features on the set also. Okay, the first character we are looking at is, this is a female character. Uh, her clothes is like, I don't know, it's like kind of blue color, like Demin type of color. And I, re I like the print of, you know, the, the, the sweater with the zip. And then the sing the, the sling back on the over the front body, and then the pocket and the, the this is like a, a smiling face expression and there's a, actually a headband under the face yeah and the headpiece is actually very nice. I actually like the headpiece with the ponytail yeah with a bit of the textures all these things. And at the back here actually is she's she is carrying a kind of like a, a sling bag or a pouch with the two zip flyers and then there's some a bit of wrinkle on the back here just above the pouch. Yeah. Very nice simple character. Okay, so the next character is this guy. He is uh, in, uh, if you see the clothes, it's kind of like maroon red with some blue, light blue and then some grey colour and seems to have like two pockets here. And this is the blue, light blue pants. Yeah, and uh, when you look at the face, it's like he's kind of like press fire, you know, like as if he's like how like mm, you know then like a bit worried scared yeah and really like I like the blue cap very interesting cap yeah, it's just a simple blue cap and there's a uh, one kind of like a hole here so maybe you can insert certain things in maybe other set or this yeah the whole like maroon color top and here has a hoodie over and then some wrinkle with a bit of uh, print yeah simple but nice character over here yeah okay this is one of the diver so this is a female character one hand she's holding like a metal detector or some kind of detector then the other hand she's holding a torchlight uh, this is like a torchlight and then on the two side here there's actually this two which is supposed to be the torchlight more torchlight to help illuminate actually this thing can can be turned just that ah uh, yep can actually turn the thing so yeah and this piece of clear glass is actually clip on but the uh, only thing is that it, you can't leave it up or close it. you know you can't leave it up it's closed all the time and the, the whole mask whole mask on top is actually very nice and I really like the printing on the the, the leg the torso and the back of it where you know the two oxygen tank and then this is the back of the the light. A bit of detail on the top here also. So very nice. Yeah. So this is just now the diver with the with the uh, mask off, the diving mask off. So you can see the body printing. You know, this is like a belt with a buckle how like I'm not really sure what it's actually buckled onto you know but 
the interesting print and on the leg here actually you can see there are some print here quite nice and this uh, this uh, this character actually have two phase so this is the fir first phase and then the second phase with a eye wrinkling wrinkling at you you know and as for the body the back torso is also as a belt and some kind of uh, like sling so quite interesting okay the last minifig for this set is actually another diver which is uh, but this time this is a male diver and if you actually see here his right hand is holding on to a camera so this is like underwater camera with a huge lens at the front you know this is like it kind of like looks like a fish eyes lens with the this is like the the dowling the the mode dial you know and the other hand is actually holding on to a remote control this is actually the remote control for the drone submarine you can see here this is actually a, a print not a sticker and the top here actually there's an just like the the other diver there's actually two two lights on the top here and he's actually a specky wearing a spec and the whole thing is actually very nice and the back here is the diving tank for the oxygen when he dive yeah so very nice okay so this is the diver without the oxygen mask all this and you can see the printing is actually similar to the the other character the front and back and you know, he has a this is his first face which is a smiling one with a specky and the eyebrow is slightly you know not balanced and i do feel that the eyes is like kind of like both of them is going closer to the center you know making the funny face eyes and then this is like a you know a in shock kind of face still the two eyes is actually a bit more closer to the center so okay and then eyebrow is still the same is like one one higher one lower a, a very cute expression all this so again the, the printing is actually very nice yeah very nice okay so this is one of the mini vehicle that it provide and this is actually the submarine the drone submarine so if you can you see from the front here there's actually a sticker with a hammer shark head and then actually there's actually uh, this two it seems like you know like maybe the position lights yeah, that's does, it doesn't i don't know because it's orange color so it doesn't looks like it's supposed to be a light that kind of like shine for the submarine to be sure to see what's around and then the, the two propeller behind and actually below here actually you can see there's actually a few the clip so this is actually used for attaching to the submarine your main submarine and the back here there's also some more like light bricks so yeah very nice kind of feel like you know like this is maybe some kind of like the fuel injection yeah and on the top here actually there's actually a a compartment where you can actually put some of the things all this yeah so it's more like you know when the the diver like like pick up any things from the seabed all these so maybe seabed all these then he can actually just put them in there and then you can just close and then actually you have to control the sub back to the main sub to drop off the cargo the you know whatever sample or special specimen that they get from the seabed all these so very nice uh, very nice drone you know drone submarine yeah okay so this is actually a reef set so the whole thing is like a color reef and you can see here this is like 
a fixed color width and below here there's actually a color width that is can open up and you can actually see this uh, crystal thing you know it's over here and then you know the diver is supposed to try to come and take a photo of the, the, the crystal and suddenly <coughs> you know an angel fish come out of the cave and try to attack him and he got a sh you know he and she got got frightened scared and that's why he has a you know a frightened expression a scared expression you know, really like like frightened by the anger fish you know, so yeah so you try to take a photo and anger fish try to attack him uh, I know I mean the anger fish is supposed to be uh, luminate here on top and you know trying to this part is supposed to 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 have the light and you know to attract the fish to it and then it will actually swallow the fish in full but uh this whole thing is actually supposed to be uh, luminate the whole fish is supposed to be luminate at the at night maybe later i'll try to off the light and see and uh yeah so with that the tiger have to run away so better quickly swim away run escape escape run okay so then over here there's actually you know i put the two crab here and you can actually close back and this mechanism here is actually very interesting it's kind of like with a red knot at the back you can actually push in there's actually a stopper behind here to prevent it from going all the way back and also you know that's that's the maximum you can go so the fish can actually come out to this far so that's a good distance very interesting a very you know very fun play feature so yeah i, I really, really enjoy you know messing it around with it okay, stop messing that okay so there's actually another one more color reef over here and another piece of crystal and you know like maybe some uh, color reef flower or something like that and i got a crack on the top and here's another flower and flower and flower so very nice very nice color reef yeah i really like it and let's see if i can try to okay so this is actually to test you know the fish and it's dark at night it will loom you know it will loom itself yeah if you actually see here you can see it's like how kind of like a loom itself yeah but uh you know th how this kind of loom normally work is you need some kind of light source to shine on it after that then uh then when you in the dark is uh, then you can actually see the loom so you know very interesting you know it's like uh, you're taking picture you know it's like you're taking picture and you're swimming closer and closer and closer and sunny so kind of like yeah so right very nice okay so now we are actually here this is actually the submarine for this set and uh, it's actually very nice i actually really like it very much you know when if you look at the box it's actually very it just it just have the factor you know the look factor to be for like the real thing and the whole thing is actually very nice and i really like the arm very much you see like this this arm you can actually turn it up down and in fact if you actually got get it get it correct can it can actually turn 360 degree and then this part is actually you can actually turn it back all the way all the way yeah and then there's another articulating part here also so very nice and the claw is actually is actually on the rubber band white rubber band and it's like you know you can actually shut quite tight so both side the arm is actually the same with the articulating joint and the rubber band with the clip very i actually like it a lot very good system and the below here actually these two is kind of like you know like uh, i think it's supposed to be some kind of like plastic 
for it to maybe like float on the water when it's on the surface or I guess maybe it's not really for it to float on the water I mean I like it but I'm not really have that much knowledge about this thing so maybe some kind of air tank or what okay and then as for the side here actually this is you know you can actually tube up tube down so I think this is maybe to help the the, the submarine to rise and and low down into the, the depth of the water so yeah so and there's a sticker here at the front here so just like the the drone the drone the drone submarine so they are all the hammer head the hammer head and then also there's actually a 64 and another 64 sticker on the side and there's also another sticker on the back here which is a you know, caution I think this is like maybe the electrical box you know so I don't know I mean you're underwater how could you have then so I maybe so okay so that then as for the top here this is actually suppo where, supposed to be where the diver enter and go in, enter and exit the sub you know, but uh, for us human you this is actually way too small for your hand so there's actually another way to open it and the top here actually there's these two is supposed to represent the lights so when you're diving in the depth you need very strong bright light and the four propeller here this is like rotatable 360 degree and the propeller yeah it's spinnable very nice yeah and there's, a, there's plastic 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 and this round canopy here and in order to get in you can actually lift up this and below yeah, nothing but just a few catch help to secure it and here actually the main catch is actually on the two side here and once you remove the top you can actually open up this canopy and then after you can actually put in the the pilot and then close back All right yeah so you can, this is how it looks like inside there and on the top here actually there's if you actually see inside here there's actually a triangle piece with uh, this is actually a print it's not a sticker it's a print so this here uh, you can actually put in another character only thing is that because this is actually smooth there's no touch on the center unless you know you try to push her on to the side if not if you, you know you can just throw her in the only thing is that she will just you know, run all over the place and like just now she actually fall out from the back and that's one thing that if you actually take note here you can see actually this is a catch where you can actually push your whole submarine in with or without the top you can actually push the whole thing submarine in and that is supposed to catch in there and the whole thing is supposed to fit in nicely and once this mini drone sub is in you, you know your character will not fall out in fact it's actually you can actually put in put her in there she's not going to she's kind of like going to wiggle around inside that you know maybe just bang bang up very badly but she's not falling out you know. but frankly speaking because uh yeah because she's wiggling around so i would rather not to put her in unless maybe if i decide to remove that that smooth piece below you know maybe there's touch there are touch below then yeah maybe i'll just touch her in but and for timing this is to put back remember that the front is actually the one with the hammerhead shark sticker so this is the front and also with the lights pointing to the front so this is how you just have to push and there voila she's in one piece again so with the drone su submarine and yeah, you just have to push it pull it and you actually come out so the only thing i guess because of the submarine so you can't really have a back door here if not you will be you know this part will be nicer 
if the submarine is not in but if the submarine is in yeah you can see this is the reason why it doesn't have the back door because this propeller thing simply just kind of like way too big so yeah so this the uh, empty side so yeah that's the only I would say the only oh not so nice side which is kind of like this big opening and when you go diving you don't want to have such a big opening but uh, yeah this is just a lego you're not gonna really dive dive with it man so end of the day it's still a very nice sub and i really like it very much you know i really like the angle yeah cool The overall, I would say this is actually a very nice set. You actually got the two diver, you know, very nice. I really like the head gear with the two lights. And then also the two civilian character. One, I think, is the, the pilot for the submarine and make the other one, the lady character. Is, I think that one should be the, like a scientist or analysis. And of course, the drone submarine which is remote control very nice and also the color reef with the luminate angle fish yeah and it's very fun quite a fun play feature you know having the loom at night and kind of like push it and it actually kind of like came out you know can give you a fright Oh, well, it, it, it did scare one of the character and even the submariner is like respiring yeah and of course the sub is is very nice it's a good build quite well built you know the whole thing is when you actually hold it in the hand and when you actually turn it around it's not really going to break easily and it's actually quite close to the actual you know photo of the national geographic so very nice so yeah if you get guys like you know something underwater this is actually a very nice set to get so if you guys like to see more of my other review don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button and i see you guys again ciao